And the next day, he was buried. Did you come directly here or did you walk through the town? Did you see St. Clair's? Did you walk by or did you go in? All right. Where that, that church was built around 1260. Francis died in 1226. So about 34 years before it was built. There used to be a little church called St. George. That's where Francis was buried first. And then he was canonized a saint. He was named a saint. Uh, I slip into Roman Catholic lingo a lot. <laughs> Occupational hazard, all right? It's <laughs> Canon, if you, you need to help me. You understand the term canonized? Right. Named a saint. Named a saint by Gregory the Ninth within two years of his death which is very, very, very quick to be, become a saint. And when the Pope came to canonize him, he did two very important things. He commissioned one of the friars to write a biography of St. Francis, the story of his life. And secondly, he laid the cornerstone for his church. You see, in the person of St. Francis, he knew he had a wonderful example of conversion of somebody who totally gave himself to the gospel, and the Pope wanted to make the most of it. If he could have cut a, seed, a DVD, he would have done that too. All right. He was a communicator. So with a life and a pilgrimage place, this was a way of getting the story out there. Okay. When the Pope came for that candidacy, he laid the cornerstone. He had been given that land a couple months before, and within two years, well, let me back up. When the Pope told the friars he wanted a church built here, he wanted two things. First of all, he wanted a, a place where the bones of Francis could be moved and placed, because that church of St. George was too small. So many people were already coming that it was too small. And secondly, at this time, uh, in the Middle Ages, this part of Italy belonged to the Papal States. And the Pope frequently came here on visits. He wanted a residence. And he wanted a church big enough for big celebrations that he would have. And the friars made a decision right from the get-go, right from the beginning, namely, to build one church on top of the next. So the lower church is the church where he is buried. 